In this video, we will see to the changes that came in the lives of women. We know since the beginning that women participated actively in the revolution. She worked as seamstress or laundress, sold flowers, fruits and vegetables at the market or was employed as domestic servant in the houses of prosperous people to earn for the family. But women did not have access to education or job training. Only daughters of nobles or wealthier members of the third estate could study at a convent after which their families arranged marriage for them. Working women had to take care of their families also, that is, cook, fetch water, give up for bread and look after the children. Their wages were lower than those of men. In order to discuss and voice their interests, women started their own political clubs and newspaper. About 60 women's club came in different French cities. The Society of Revolutionary and Republic Women was the most famous of them. Their main demand was that women should be given the same political rights as men. Women were disappointed that the constitution of 1791 reduced them to passive citizens. They demanded the right to vote, to be elected to the assembly and to hold political office. The revolutionary government did introduce laws that helped improve the lives of women. Schooling was made compulsory for all girls. Their fathers could no longer force them into marriage against their will. Marriage was made into a contract entered into freely and registered under civil law. Divorce was made legal and could be applied for by both women and men. Women could now train for jobs, could become artists or run small businesses, but they were still not given equal political rights. Women's movement continued through the next 200 years in many countries of the world. It was in the year 1946 that women in France finally got the right to vote.